Welcome to our video tutorial introducing Forte. We will give you a quick introduction to the program. Within 10 minutes you will be able to write your first score with Forte. Forte is easy to use. After viewing this video, you will know that this is more than just a promise. We will now get to know the most important tools and easily understand how to use Forte for your work. Please start Forte now. The start window appears. Use the options beneath open to open existing files. If you want to create a new file, select an option under New. From version 4 to 4, the score wizard is included, which takes you step by step through the setup of your score. This tool is especially useful for beginners. We also use this great tool for practice purpose now. The score wizard opens an empty start document and the first input box appears. Here we type in all general information we want to add to our document. For our little exercise, we select the popular nursery song Incy Wincy Spider and add traditional as composer. After clicking next, the instrument list opens. Here you can choose from over 60 different instruments including vocals. You can also combine different instruments. For our simple melody, we select vocals. We click on add, then next. Now we can select such options like the desired time or the key signature. Our piece has a 6-8 time and is in F major. Also it starts with a pickup measure, an eighth note. We click the respective note. Also let's reduce the total number of measures to 24. We click on finish. Now let's save our document first of all. We click file save as, which opens the folder for the my library. We give our file the name Incy Wincy Spider and click on Save. We now take a closer look at the menu and important tools of Forte. The well structured work surface is one of the great strengths of Forte. You just need to know the basic tools and functions. Further operations are assessed through the intuitive work surface rather by itself. These basic functions are the elements palette, the properties window, the music ruler, the operating modes, and the menu actions. Let's first look at the different operating modes in Forte. There are four. You will find them in the toolbar. Select mode. Use this mode to edit, copy, delete, move or perform music symbols. In this mode you can use the properties window and the context menu. Insert mode. Select this mode when you want to add new music symbols to your document using the mouse. This mode is automatically selected the moment you click on a symbol in the elements palette. Keyboard mode. Select this mode when you want to add new music symbols to your document by using the computer keyboard. Please look at the help menu for key mapping. Camera mode. Change to this mode if you want to export parts of your score as a picture to other applications. In this video we will choose the mode used most frequently, which is the insert mode. The best way to get to know the various tools is learning by doing. Right, we now want to put notes. That means we would like to have something new. We use the elements palette for this. There you will find a wide range of musical signs. We can define the time signature, the key, the tempo or create a pickup measure. If the elements palette is not open yet, just click on the toolbar on the appropriate icon. Now we start writing the notes of Incy Wincy Spider. We choose the tab notes and click the desired note value. We need an eighth note followed by a quarter note, followed by an eighth note, and so on. By clicking on it, Forte changes to the insert mode. Move the cursor into the first bar and the music ruler appears. Please note, when you run Forte for the first time, a window will open which gives you a short description of how the music ruler works. This handy tool helps us to easily enter notes directly on any beat or time we want. Wrong entries you can easily be made undone by using the undone button. Also, we can add notes wherever we want without setting pauses since Forte will do this for us. This will save us a lot of time. Let's place the first note, a C, by clicking the left mouse button. Ready. We now place all notes of the first 13 bars of our song. If you need a dotted note, just click on the dot button after selecting the note measure, 
a dotted note will be inserted. If you do not need a pause which is already set, simply continue entering your notes. The unnecessary pauses will be overwritten. Let's listen to our first notes now. We click the play button in the menu above. Well, the notes in bar 5 and 9 appear to be too short. We should change them to half notes, so we want to edit already existing elements. This is the work for the properties window. We return to the select mode. By the way, you can activate and deactivate the properties windows by clicking on the respective button in the toolbar. We now select the two notes we want to change. To select both, simply press the control key while clicking one after another. The notes turn red. We now select the tab Performance, click the little button next to Duration and select Half Note in the appearing menu. Finally, we click Apply. The selected notes turn to half notes, the quarter pauses disappear. Please note, this procedure is appropriate when the same change is valid for several notes. If you want to change a single note, it will be better to simply delete this note and include another one instead. The notes of bar 8 should receive a slur, so we want to add a new musical character. This is again a job for the elements palette. For this we go to notes using the select mode and click on the symbol for the slur. We now drag a rectangle around the notes of the 8th measure. The slur is set. Let's work a little more on the melody by adding a staccato within the second measure. To do so we select the tab accents and choose the first button on the left. We mark the notes of the second measure, the staccato will be added to all four notes. Now we listen again to the result. There are a few notes left to complete our melody. In Incy Wincy Spider, the first five bars are identical to the bars 13 to 17. We can simply copy and paste. For this, we switch to the select mode again. Now select the notes of the first row and add bar 5 by pressing the control key and clicking on the note. We then click on copy within the edit menu. Now we place the cursor within bar 13 at the right position by clicking above or among the staff lines. A blinking cursor appears. If not, please retry. Now we insert our copied notes by simply clicking on paste within the edit menu. Now a song is written. Let's summarize. With the help of the elements palette, we wrote the first notes. With the properties window, we edited some of them. Besides these two tools, the action menu is also an important tool. You will find it in the menu under actions or as tab in the properties window. Here you can find more complex commands, which are usually built out of several steps. Depending on the musical signs we have chosen in our score, the available actions will change of course. Please note that a selected command always requires a click on the button Apply before having an effect on the document. Take for example the action Transpose by key and choose it within the action menu. The properties window opens again or is already open. We choose the key to which we want to transpose our score here from F major to let's say A major. Click Apply. By clicking on the arrow you can change the direction of the transposition. The redundant measures can be deleted by clicking under Document option, Remove Measures and typing in from 18 to 24. Please note that this step cannot be made undone. Let's move on to the last exercise, the input of the lyrics. You will find this function in the Elements palette under Text, Chords. Click on Lyric there. Move the mouse to the first note and click it. This opens the text input box among the notes. However, you might find it more comfortable to enter your text within the properties window. Each point there represents a note. We can separate syllables with a hyphen by clicking the minus key. You can also insert a copy text from other sources and Forte will put it under the notes automatically. You might have to do some adjustments afterwards though. Let's do a final improvement. As you can see the last staff has only one bar which does not look very nice. 
We can solve this with using again the properties window. There's more than just one way. We could change the total measure per staff to 6, which reduces the whole score to 3 staffs only. I think the easiest way is to adjust only the first staff. Just click on the first one, the layout properties open. Select the tab System and set the number of measures per system to 5. Thus, the last bar will move a line higher. This action could also be entered by using the Document menu. Here we find the tool Edit Layout, which offers all kinds of layout adjustments to improve the layout of your score. Just click through the window for a moment to get an impression of what is possible. Well, now we have come to the end of our introduction video. You went through the most important basic functions of Forte to create your score. Of course, Forte can do much more than this. You will find all program details in the extensive manual which is included in your Forte software. Just follow this path. Menu, Help, Forte Help. We recommend to also look at our website, fortenotation.com, once in a while and browse our offerings under Support Ways. Which touchpoint ever you will choose, we will be happy to help you creating your wonderful piece of music with Forte as fast and easy as possible. Thank you for your attention.